Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Today we're going to look at another stylus application. This one is more uh, drawing centric and it's the Sketchbook Express by Autodesk. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Autodesk, they are a major CAD company and they make uh, many of the CAD tools that are used by engineers, graphic designers uh, around the world. And so they have a, a pretty solid Android application here. Um, note that it is not a honeycomb optimized application, but it still works well within the, the uh, context of the zoom. Um, so it actually is a, is a portrait mode um, drawing, but I, I'm going to use it in landscape because I think even though you have your, your, your standard honeycomb user interface to the right, um, drawing in, in landscape, which feels the most natural to me, still works out rather well. Um, so kind of, it's a very, as you can see, simple, simple interface. There's basically two things that you can do. You can come in here, create a new, buy the full version. This is a light version. And then help, I'll talk more about what's in the full version in a bit, once we get familiar. And then basically there's this little menu button. You can see it right here. So we click on there, and this brings up the interface. So we basically have a whole unique amount of uh, brushes that we can choose from. So we'll just start. This is kind of like the thin paintbrush. And um, so you can choose your brushes here. And then by you can choose how thick you want it by going up, like here, above the circle. I think that's good. And you can see, I don't know if you can see this, you can see how translucent you want it. And then by going down, you can see, you can make it even smaller. And again, these are the brushes, so you, you, each of these have a different stroke. And then over here, you can create different layers. So if you wanted to create a layer application with one, overlaying one of your drawings on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, you can do so. Um, you can mirror. And then over here we can uh, choose the color either by doing like a dropper, an RGB, there's a swatch. Um, however, I am going to go to the color wheel and we'll just select black. Black is default and we'll accept that. So we'll just start with the basic painting. So you can see I'm swiping along and there's a little bit of delay. So I don't know if this is something that's inherent. I haven't used this on my smartphone. Um, just because that now that you have a wider screen it's just not optimized for that. Or if it's um, just the program itself in general on all, on all platforms. It's probably that it's not optimized. But you can see that there's a slight lag but it doesn't really affect your painting. It follows through your stroke 100% of the time. So there's nothing to, to worry, it's just going to lag a little behind you. I don't find it that bad. So now I'm going to choose like a, it's like a brush, um, our, our, our spray, kind of like spray paint. Um, and let's, let's, uh, let's make some grass. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do kind of a landscape, just, just a basic demo. I'm not a professional at all. And you're going to see I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this bigger because I want to paint all the bottom half. And so you can see I'm spraying it green, going and highlighting the area, and it's following along, and for the most part doing a pretty effective job. course there's a million ways you can go about this if you don't want to spray paint you can you know there's a, like a bucket fill and so forth so you know there's no wrong way I'm just trying to show you as many paint brushes as possible so now let's uh, do something a little bit more thin we're gonna we're gonna make the clouds on the sky so we just go back to the color I'm gonna go more into the bluish light blue gray and here's our cloud so you can see you can get a nice thin pencil-like sketch. And 
And then I'm going to actually use the paint bucket. So we're, this right down here is the paint bucket. Then we're going to go over here and do a little bit lighter. Okay, a little bit. And then with a paint bucket, you just tap, tap in and it paints it in. You see, it filled it up rather nice. Okay, so now we're going to go and uh, let's let's uh, get a nice big paintbrush. Okay, you can see, let's make it this big. You're going to get a nice yellow sun in there. And again, I, you know, this is, I'm not trying, I'm just trying to show out all the features of this. You can see that the paint swipes and everything does a pretty good job. Nothing, nothing fancy, but if you're, you're artistic, you could probably really take care, take advantage of these features. So that's kind of the big paintbrush. We'll, we'll go to the pencil and uh, we'll draw a bird. Let me just get something a little bit darker than the sun. Go into the black. Look at that. There we got our bird. And it's kind of like blurred out. We'll, we'll, we'll do. Um, water. You can see the water's running. There we go. And there we go. Masterpiece. So basically you can see there's there's a lot a lot in this application and it has a very simple user interface for the most part you know you just press there select your brushes select your color and um, to fully you know use each and every one and of course I actually didn't show this one there's a race I can't even spell my own name that's okay. Now you know my secret weapon. Autocorrect. Well, stop the presses. Sorry about that. I forgot about a couple features that I didn't actually fully go into. So, we're at a clean slate. You know, all I did is go new. Right there in the menu. And now let's, uh, let's talk about them. So if we look at the layers, you actually have the ability to add a layer um, by clicking on the layers in this plus symbol. And actually, one of the cool things is the kind of layers that you can add. You can add a photo or take a picture. And uh, so we'll, we'll grab a photo from the gallery. Look at that. Kind of loads upside down, but let me just flip my zoom. Alright, so now you can see. Picture loads beautifully, and if we go and look at the layers, you can see there's two layers to select from now. And so I can choose to select this layer and, and draw on top of it, or I can select this layer to be the top layer. And um, I can also select the transparency of a certain layer. Sorry. So you can see, you can make it transparent, semi-transparent, and uh, I'll make this all the way transparent. And we'll select this layer, and I'll show you this mirror mode. I know I talked about it, but I, I didn't really show you the power behind it. So 
I'll grab a brush and uh, basically mirror mode mirrors what you're painting on the other side. Really, really cool. So you you actually have the ability to create something that maybe having a uh, steady hand would be able to yield, but you know, for someone who has sloppy um, drawing like myself, you'll be able to draw, you know, a, a perfect replica of one side of something and have it replicate on the other end. So it, it's very cool, and it's actually a lot of fun to work with, as you can see. So definitely uh, also uh, check that out. And then a couple other things. Um, you can you can pan you can zoom in and zoom out, and you can also go back. So if there was something you didn't like, you can go back using this arrow right here. And then you can also go forward. And, and also, if you get out of this menu, you can pinch to zoom out, pinch to zoom in, and you can, you know, move around within using the two fingers you can move it around. If you use one, you're actually going to start drawing. And um We'll erase those. The way to get the uh, brand, the way to get the focus again is this full screen right here. And so we'll be back onto the full screen. And um, we'll just uh, I'll go back and. So here we go. Here's a little, little heart. Isn't that cute? And we'll go back to layers. And we'll go back to what we made 100% transparent make it transparent and you can see oh now this la layers the top one so it covers that but we'll move it back and there you go and that's how layers work and um, cool stuff there and uh... i'm gonna go back to the other video but um, it, it, it is a very uh, solid uh, painting uh, application especially for the tablet um, and the fact that it's not optimized and it works fairly well is uh, pretty impressive. You can see, you can get pretty, pretty fine um, tuning with, with some of the, the brushes and it's not the most accurate in the world just because the screen is not meant for it, but to be able to uh, take advantage um, of the stylus and be able to use the drawing uh, application like this, I think, I think it's pretty cool and definitely one that you should uh, check out. So the uh, only thing left to, to talk about is the full version. And so... And right now the full version is just 99 cents. Um, and basically you can uh, export this as a PSD, PNG, or JPEG. And it's kind of cool that you can export it as a PSD, so that's the Photoshop standard. And since you can do it in layers, those layers will translate over into Photoshop. Very cool. There's extra brushes, so that was just really a scratch of the surface of the kind of brushes that you have. There's 40 additional ones. Really, really increasing the amount of uh, textures that you can do. Um, if you're an art person, that might be what the what you're looking for. Um, and as well as customizing the brushes, which we, we did not have in, in the standard version. And you can up, do up to uh, six layers and uh, do some creative things with that as well as uh, larger uh, canvas sizes so maybe that that could be another reason why this is uh, lower because 1024 is uh, actually the resolution of the screen so it might be even more suitable for the tablet then but I hope you like this review on this application um, please like if you did please subscribe if you haven't already for daily video updates, this is Sleepless Ninja, and have a wonderful day.